I'd say personally something like LinkedIn. Um, it's the only social networking platform that can boast uh, that all Fortune 500 businesses have execs that are members on there. Um, not only that, but you've got about 8.5 million um, experts who represent about 130 different industries. So you're going to be able to um, not only sort of research um, ideas on there and gain knowledge, but you're obviously going to be able to target um, all some of the biggest brands uh, from all around the world. Uh, well, my favourite one is Ping.fm. Um, you go on basically and register all the social networks that you're involved in, um, and instead of having to go onto each separate platform, you can just send one update out through Ping.fm, um, and that will populate all your social networks in one go. Um, probably another key one that I would say is there is a website called namechk.com, uh, which allows you to see whether your brand and company name is available across the social network. So say for instance you wanted Twitter and you wanted um, my company name Business Consort as a username, it will tell you if that's available so at least you can maintain brand consistency across all your networks. Well, a recent study showed that 76% of businesses um, actually did not trust uh, company adverts, websites, etc. So they're actually turning to the social networks and looking for uh, authentic opinions about brands and services and products by using social networks. So instead of going onto a company website and investigating it from that point of view, people will go on and ask a question on LinkedIn and they'll get 10 answers back and it's actually sort of giving them the market research and the confidence in the products. So I do think it's very important for um, businesses to be involved in social media because obviously people are not taking on board the advertising and the websites as much as they did in the past. People sort of tend to sort of get procrastinate over social networking uh, and think it's going to be a very involved task. Uh, personally, I think 10 minutes a day is all you should be spending um, managing your social networks because as long as you're keeping your content fresh, um, perhaps you're sending updates out, um, it's only if you were doing a specific campaign um, that obviously you would be investing more time. Um, but the actual managing the campaign from that point forward would be no more than 10 minutes a day. Um, really, your social networks have become your new contact management databases. So you should be treating it a little bit more like your emails and sort of touching base, checking into things, answering and replying, um, and it should take no more than that. Well, not only have you got millions of professionals um, from various industries from all over the world, um, you can obviously engage with customers, you can uh, use it for market research, build relationships and generate leads. Um, interestingly though, um, the elections use social networks for the first time this year, um, but also Facebook is now um, a prime source of evidence in divorce cases. Um, so obviously all the industries are now taking it on board, even the more traditional industries like uh, you know, solicitors and accountants, etc., are now going into the social media world.